Hey guys, welcome back. Drip and Farm Poor Poverty. I'm your host, Drip Coach, and let's jump right into it. Greetings, my fellow seekers of truth and wisdom. Today, we delve into a timeless topic that speaks to the very essence of our existence, the art of public discourse. In a world filled with digital anonymity and one-sided communication, where have the days of honorable face-offs and open forum discussions gone? Throughout history, men faced their adversaries head on, engaging in real-time debates and discussions that demanded courage, conviction, and intellect. Whether it was the way of the Bushido in ancient Japan, knights jousting for honor in medieval Europe, or the wild, wild west duels where disputes were settled with six shooters, these encounters were not just about proving physical prowess, but also about defending one's ideas and thought processes. Public discourse is a true test of intellectual maturity and conviction. It requires individuals to stand tall and articulate their ideas in real time, facing their opponents with integrity and honor. It's a chance to engage in a battle of wits, where the weapon of choice is not a sword or a gun, but the power of words and the strength of one's argument. Let's examine some remarkable instances from history where men handled their disputes with grace, pride, and integrity. Take the ancient Greek Agora, where philosophers engaged in spirited debates to seek truth and wisdom. Or the Lincoln-Douglas debates, where Abraham Lincoln and Stephen Douglas eloquently presented their opposing views on slavery, shaping the course of American history. In today's world, we find ourselves in an age of digital echo chambers, where individuals hide behind chat rooms or create videos without engaging in real-time dialogue. This one-sided communication can foster an environment that lacks depth and nuance. It is important to recognize that the true growth and understanding come from engaging with differing perspectives and defending our ideas openly. Public discourse is a testament to our ability to communicate effectively, to challenge our own beliefs, and to evolve intellectually. It's about engaging with others in a respectful and meaningful way, exchanging ideas and finding common ground. It is a reflection of our maturity, our willingness to listen, and our conviction in our own ideas. So, my fellow truth seekers, let's embrace the art of public discourse, step up from behind our screens, stand tall and engage in discussions that challenge us, enlighten us and pave the way for a brighter future. Remember, it's not just our right, but our duty to defend our ideas with honor, pride and integrity. For it is in the arena of public discourse that ideas are not merely exchanged, they shape the very fabric of our society. So I said all that to say this. Many of you that follow me may be familiar with this video I put out, or actually I should say did not put out <laughs> back here uh, that I deleted. And it was basically, uh, it was gonna be a video of more of the information and evidence surrounding some bad actors within the space. Now, I have since been in discussion with JJ, the project manager, and I urge you guys to share your stories with him as well. Now, here is the new development on that. I am currently reaching out or waiting, I should say, waiting for feedback on my request for a seat at the table. Shout out to John Wick. <laughs> so um, I mentioned to JJ that I would like to discuss with, and I labeled and named some individuals that I like at this table. So I'm gonna name them here as well and see if this gets addressed or not. So at least you guys will know in all transparency and honesty that I am extending the olive branch in the hope of finding mediation and reconciliation for the drip community. So I asked JJ to get a seat at the table with these individuals, Forex, Ray, Bartertown Conglomerate, and Lee from Driptopian. That's one side. And then on the other side, myself, Mystify, and Kryptonite. So Mr. Fire Kryptonite, you may not even be aware of that until this video. <laughs> but if you attended the Twitter space or you listened to that last week, I keep mentioning that it's because many people from the community came up and shared their perspectives. And there are fundamental root cause things that need to be addressed for the overall health and sentiment of the drip community, not the contracts, not the token price the actual community. The community drives the actual uh, price action and everything else that will become of our DeFi space well into the end of this year and into the bull run. So that to me is what this is really all about. 
It doesn't matter about the issues outside of that and some of the evidence that is neither here nor there. It's merely about getting people from within the community that share different perspectives and having them sit down and discuss. And hopefully this will be one of many. And then hopefully we can create some sort of routine round table discussion, because from what I can tell, even on my channel, so even on my channel, I can call it an echo chamber. I have no problem saying that I get kudos and positive comments from people saying, go coach, we support you. We want you to do this, that, and the third. And I'm sure other content creators get the exact same thing, even if they're saying the exact opposite of what I'm saying. So clearly there are little pockets of sentiment and it's on a spectrum. So the only way to get it addressed is to have these pockets come together and speak up on behalf of the pieces of the community that they represent. I'm not claiming to represent the entire sentiment of the drip community, nor does Ray, nor does Driptopian, S Crypto, Moonshot, any of these other uh, content creators out there. And even some people that don't even watch YouTube may not be representative, but somehow, some way, there needs to be a way to get this information to the people making the decisions. And what I was told by JJ is that Ray is not part of the formal formal team. So us on the outside looking in may have assumed that Ray was part of the formal team, but he's not. So the formal team would be Forex, JJ, and whoever Forex has actually hired. So that means that this truly is community owned, community driven. So no one from the content creator space that I am aware of is part of the inner sanctum or has a seat at the table. So what better way, in my opinion, than to move forward than to create a community round table that can address the actual leaders behind our crypto project. So that way we create this mediation, so to speak. So again, Driptopian, Forex, Ray, JJ, of course, the liaison, a kryptonite, uh, mystify and myself. So, um, I'm putting this out here. So all of you guys are aware of what I'm trying to do and I will circle back. JJ told me to check back. He's going to check with Dratopian and check back at the end of the week. They're still working on triple D as of this video. Maybe by the time you see it, triple D will be announced and launched, but right now it is Tuesday afternoon for me. So just want to get that out there. Let you guys know the course of action I'm taking and what I'm trying to resolve at the end of the day, the goal is to see again the drip community thrive and by extension positive price action due to positive sentiment all right that's all i got hope that provides some value if it did smash that hbo special help a brother out like subscribe comment down below and until next time lift daily and achieve your impossible see ya want to pay your in real life bills with crypto how about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.